Let's examine projectile motion, a question. If the trajectory of such a projectile is always an upside down parabola. You are looking here at an object which is shot with the initial velocity of 100 meters per second at an angle 30 degrees with respect to your ground. What is the maximum height attained by this projectile? If you're looking here at this a object shot with the initial velocity, it's going to undergo a projectile motion. It looks like this with a certain angle. Here is my time and here is my displacement along the vertical axis. At time zero, you have no displacement. At time maximum, when the object lands, the displacement is zero again because it has landed. Somewhere between this end of the experiment and start, there's a middle point, time over two. Here you'll have the maximum value in terms of how high the object went. How do we arrive at this point? It represents a line of symmetry of your upside down parabola. And this right here would be your vertex of your parabola anyhow. You're looking here at an equation which will be this. With regards to the time of a projectile of this sort of nature is going to be 2 times VO, initial velocity, times sine of a certain angle theta divided by acceleration. Now look, this will give you the time of your total projectile in flight. If you were to plug in your values 2 times 100 times sine of 30, you know that to be 1 over 2. Here acceleration or gravity interchangeable. I'm just rounding it up to 10 you'll get over here 10 seconds. This represents the maximum time in flight from time zero to time here 10 seconds, your object remained in motion and it landed. The midpoint of that would be five seconds. I'm dividing it by two. I'll have over here five seconds. At this five second mark is where we'll have the maximum height achieved. What is the equation for that? All of this can be derived easily. Maybe I might show in another video these equations. Anyhow, your equation will be this. You're looking at a vertical component of your velocity, but you're just going to represent that as VO sine theta times a certain time. This is your time at half a point, 5 minus half a t square. You plug in 5 in places of t and plug everything else. Initial velocity 100, sine of 30, 1 over 2, time 5 minus half, acceleration 10, and then time over 25. What do I have where? I have a 500 over 2 minus 250 over 2 and this is going to be 250 over 2 meters or just say 125 meters. This here is giving you your vertical component of displacement. What's the maximum height achieved by this projectile? It will be 125 meters and this here would be correct answer. Keep in mind the time evaluated here is your midpoint, not your end point, your midpoint. If you were to run this right here, your displacement value will be zero because your object has landed. You use the midway point and that gives you your correct answer.